invasions. In the 5th century, Germanic tribes began to invade the western half of the Roman Empire. These invasions caused changes in government, economy, and the culture of Rome. In the following years, 400 to 600, Germanic kingdoms took over Roman provinces. Borders were changed constantly because of frequent war. The church was really the only thing to survive. Vikings came from the north, Scandinavia, a region that is now called the countries of Denmark, Norway, and Sweden. been so long that I haven't seen your face. I'm trying to be strong, but the strength I have. Vikings were also traders, farmers, and explorers. The Vikings reached North America in 1000, 500 years before Columbus. Feudalism. It began in Europe as a way to offer protection. It is a set of legal and military customs in medieval Europe that flourished between the 9th and 15th centuries, which was a system where society was based around relationships between kings, lords, vassals, knights, and serfs. Lords built castles to protect peasants from outside invasions. Kings ruled a country. During Middle Ages, power decreased as power of lords increased. By the end of this time period, kings became powerful rulers of new nations. The manor. Definition, a lord's estate in feudal Europe. The manor system relied on a set of rights and obligations between a lord and his serfs. The Lord supplied the serfs with housing. Farmland and protection from bandits. Only if the serfs tended the Lord's land, cared for his animals, and completed other duties to sustain the estate. Women also shared the farm work with their husbands. All peasants were indebted to the Lord for certain tasks, whether free or serf. They always owed a, par a portion of grain and at least a few days of labor each week. The Franks. The Franks were Germanic people who settled in the Roman province of Gaul and established a great empire during the Middle Ages. Their leader was Clovis. Clovis brought Christianity to the region. Supposedly, his wife convinced him to convert to her faith. Clovis led his warriors against other, another Germanic army. He was afraid of defeat, so he prayed to the Christian god. After this, the battle shifted and the Franks won. After this, a bishop baptized Clovis and 3,000 of his warriors.
Rome welcomed this conversion of Clovis and supported his military operations against other Germanic peoples. Clovis had united the Franks into one kingdom by 511. The alliance between the church and Clovis's Frankish kingdom marked the start of a partnership between two powerful forces, the church. The structure of the church was primarily based on different ranks of religious officials. The pope was the head of the church, and all clergy fell under his authority. Priests were the lowest ranking members of the clergy, and were supervised by bishops. Local priests served as the main contact with the church for most people. Also, the bishops would settle disputes over church teachings and practices. Crusades. These were Christian military expeditions and religious wars that were proclaimed by the Pope, who was Pope Urban II. They took place in the 10 hundreds to the 15 hundreds. They want the purpose was to take back control of the Holy Land, called Palestine. It was important to Christians because it was where Jesus had lived. They were fought between the Seljuk Turks, who were Muslims, and the Western Europeans, who were Christians. Norman, struggle for who would take the throne for after King Edward the Confessor died. The leader of these invaders was William. He was the Duke of Normandy. He, as, he was also known as William the Conqueror. Normandy is located in a region just north of France. It had been taken over by the Vikings. William was able to claim the throne because he was King Edward's cousin and won the Battle of Hastings. This unified England's land by granting land to Norman lords who had sworn loyalty to 